I can't date anyone because I'm in a relationship with a future better version of myself. Thank you. Bad bitches drink Diet Coke and Diet Coke only. Fuck water. Guys, it's your girl Tyler, and welcome back. So today I'm gonna be doing something a little bit different. I'm gonna be doing another internet quiz. I'm obsessed with taking internet quizzes. We're gonna be doing the love languages quiz. Five love languages. So I'm gonna be doing the singles quiz because you just single and not ready to mingle. Feel free to take this quiz along with me. Comment down below what you are because I'm very actually interested in what people are because I feel like no one ever wants to say like, oh, I'm super into getting gifts. If that's like your means of like expressing and receiving love, then that's like no hate. Like that's just how you are. Also, I think it's important to say that this is like romantic and friendship relationships or like family like whatever it's all around like anyone that you love or dating someone or your friends with someone I think it's kind of interesting you should take these together or at least share what your results are because then you'll like know how to like show them that you appreciate them better but basically moral of the story take this with your friends family or loved ones so you can better show them love in the way that they will receive it best but that that's start so we're just gonna get right into it Long intro. Okay, singles quiz. Let's do screen recording. Make sure none of my hoes are texting me first though. Really don't need that. 18 to 24, your country, United States of America. Well, just the States of America. We've all seen the news. <laughs> Happy 2021, by the way. Um, Can I get a seven day refund, please? Thank you. Okay, so there's five types. Let me look up what the types are. Okay, so the five love languages that exist are acts of service, words of affirmation, receiving gifts, quality time, and physical touch. Well, I'm actually, I'm kind of, I don't really know what's going to be the highest. I, I don't think it's words of affirmation and it's not receiving gifts. And I kind of don't really know between the other three. Come on. My hoes are texting me. God, I got all these. I, I, I literally am like, um, single, not ready to mingle. And I got my hoes texting me. They're popping up on my screen. Okay. I'm here. So back to having like a committed, long lasting relationship. <laughs> Is this the quiz? It's more meaningful to me when someone I love sends a loving no email text for no reason or I hug someone I love. Well, it depends on the day because right now like hugging people is like illegal. I don't know if it's because I'm hug deprived, but I, I'm a, I'm a huggy bitch. Like literally I love a good hug. It's more meaningful to me when I can spend time alone with someone I love or someone I love does something practical to help me out. Alone time, I guess. Yeah. It's more meaningful to me when someone I love gives me a little gift as a token of our love or I get to spend uninterrupted leisure time with those I love. I don't really care about gifts. Uninterrupted leisure time probably, yeah. It's more meaningful to me when someone I love does something unexpected to help me with a project or I can share an innocent touch. Can you die on your own time? I Or I can share an innocent touch with someone I love. <laughs> I mean, I guess they're kind of tied. I'll go with... I'll go with helping me do something. It's more meaningful when someone I love put their arm around me in public or gives me a gift. Arm around me in public, I don't care about gifts. It's more meaningful to me when I'm around someone even if we're not doing anything or I can be comfortable holding hands, high-fiving or putting my arm around someone I love. I don't know who's like getting excited about high-fiving their significant other. Like I don't know who's just like, yo. High five. I mean, I'm pretty much always comfortable holding hands with people, high fiving people, or putting my arm around someone. Like, I, those are kind of just like natural things that I do. I don't know. That's like, I guess that's like how I show my love to people. It's more meaningful to me when I receive a gift from someone I love or, or I hear from someone that they love me. Tell me you love me. I need someone. <laughs> Demi's just like quaking. It's more meaningful to me when sitting close to someone I love or, or being complimented by someone I love for no reason. I guess sitting close to someone. I'm getting the vibe that I'm more of a physical touch person. I usually like would hold hands with my like close friends like and like kiss them on the cheek and shit. Like that's just kind of I guess that's how I like show like that I care about people but it's like huh okay. We're noticing things. We're getting it. We're getting into my mind. No, but everyone always thought I was dating all my friends because they're just like, like my friends understood it and they knew I didn't like them, like in a romantic way. But then other people were like, oh, like she likes every single person in that group. Like that's so weird. And I'm like, no, it's, I don't. Like I simply don't. <laughs> it's more meaningful to me when I get a chance to just hang out with someone I love or I unexpectedly get a small gift from someone I love. Hang out with someone. It's more meaningful to me when I hear someone tell you that I'm proud of you. Don't even need to read the second one, just that. I love that. That's such, that's the cutest compliment ever. I love when people say that. Or they help me with a task, boom, I'm proud of you. That is the most underrated, best compliment or thing to say to anyone ever. Like that means so much more like anything else to me, I guess. Like there's something about hearing that from your friends that you care about. It's more meaningful to me when I get to do things with someone I love or I hear supportive words from someone I love. Do stuff with the person, I guess. Let me think about like getting into the mind of like taken Taylana. Like single Taylana has been here for a minute and she'll be here for a minute continuously. But like I can't date anyone because I 
I'm in a relationship with a future better version of myself. Thank you. Yeah, probably get to do something with people I love. It's more meaningful to me when I hear praise from someone I love or someone I love gives me something that shows they were really thinking about me. A bitch deserves a good compliment, but someone I love gives me something that shows they're thinking about me. Like, I guess that's like a gift, which I don't like. Gifts make me uncomfortable. If it's like a little small thing, like, oh my God, I saw this and I thought of you. Like I've had presents like that, that literally are like super cute like this gift from a friend we're gonna have her sit there and you're gonna guys are gonna go remember click the subscribe button down below if y'all already aren't i post a new video every tuesday so do that go follow me on my socials links down below i'm gonna continue on with this but no my friend literally saw this and thought of me and i was like that's so sweet like holiday gifts oh my god shut the up i hate look at i mean i like giving gifts in a way but I also like stress myself out and like what if they got me something better and then I feel bad because I didn't get that something equal it's more meaningful to me when I am able to just be around someone I love or get a back rub from someone I love bitch my muscles are tense I would love a massage <laughs> I literally have invited people over because they give good massages and like fully no other reason like I didn't want to hang out with them or anything but I was just like you got those hands of fire and I got knots for days bro it's more meaningful to me when someone I love reacts positively to something I've accomplished or someone I love does something for me that they don't particularly enjoy reacts positively to something I've accomplished I love that praise it's more meaningful when I'm able to be in close physical proximity to someone I love or I sense someone I love showing interest in the things I care about see I've just I've had like weird dating relationships where it's like these things I used to like be like 100% but now I'm like well I've had bad reactions in that particular scenario like I've had people that I date take interest in things that I care about and then like ruin it for me and like they care about it and you know, we're not going into but like now I can't pick that like because it's like I love when people take interest in what I do but like I've just had bad experiences so I'm gonna go close proximity more meaningful when I am complimented by someone I love on my appearance or someone I love takes time to listen to me and really understand my feelings um I mean like I already know I'm hot so I don't really need to hear it like I mean it's, it's nice but like I don't need to hear it no I'm like a, I'm, I'm like a deep person I'm not like a scar I don't know, I, I like when people understand my feelings because I've had, again, people not understand my feelings, that pisses me off. I'm not that complicated, I'm pretty much like, don't lie to me, I'll like you, but apparently that's too hard for some people. But like, yeah, I like when people understand my feelings and aren't liars. Okay. More meaningful to me when someone I love does something special for me to help me out or I get a gift that someone I love put thought into choosing. Probably helps me out with something. It's more meaningful to me when someone I love doesn't check their phone while we're talking to each other. Oh my god, I don't even need to read the next one. Yes! I can't can't stand when I'm talking to people and they're on their phone the whole time. More meaningful when someone I love doesn't interrupt me when I'm talking. Oh my god. Boom. Hands down. I swear to fucking god. I can't stand when people interrupt me. Can't stand it. Okay. Or gift giving is an important part of the relationship. No. Don't fucking interrupt me. <laughs> More meaningful when someone I love touches my arm or shoulder. Ooh, sexy shoulders. Touch my shoulders all day, baby. Don't demonetize <laughs> More meaningful to me when someone I love surprises me with a small token of their appreciation or touching someone I love frequently to express our friendship. Touching someone frequently. It's more meaningful to me when I get a hug from someone who I haven't seen in a while or I hear someone I love tell me how much I mean to them. A hug, always. We got our results. My primary love language is physical touch. Not super shocking to me. Mostly it's physical touch with 33% of my scores being that. Then quality time. I'm totally fine with just hanging out people and doing nothing or just doing the same thing every time because I, don't, I rarely get bored with stuff but I am trying to be more adventurous and spontaneous so hopefully that will change. But I do like spending quality time with people. Then 20% of my scores were words of affirmation which makes sense to me also and then acts of service is 17%. So that's kind of at the point where it's like I don't really care but if you do, then it will be appreciated most of the time. If you do stuff, I'll be like, oh, well, like, that was nice. You know, but it's, like, not my first thing because, like, I don't like putting people out, I guess. Like, I don't, like, I don't want people to go out of their way to do stuff for me when it's, like, inconvenient to them or they don't want to do it, you know? And then last one was receiving gifts with only 3%. <laughs> that makes sense. But overall, I do recommend taking this with any of your loved ones or just taking this quiz yourself, finding out your score, and then sharing it with people around you so that they can know how to better share show their love to you. I know gifts weren't very high on the list, but any guy that gets me a Diet Coke has immediately 
won my heart. I'm fully not joking. That is that is the only gift I'm ever okay with doing because I know it's only a dollar and I know that it, it's not that hard to get. But anywho, I hope that you guys enjoyed this. Please, I'm like dead ass serious. Please tell me down below what your love language is. Okay, anywho, like I'm a psych major and I'm really excited by this. Okay, that is all I have for you guys today. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe. Also be sure to follow me on all my social media at Taylana Jordan. I got an Instagram, I got a Twitter, I got a TikTok. I love you guys so much. Even though I can't physically touch you, I love you guys so much. I'll see you guys next week. Peace. My Fitbit is telling me I am sitting on my ass too long. Um, well, that's tough.